Hey, what's up guys? Anthony and Tara here for Rev3 Games at the PlayStation booth at E3, and we just played God of War Ascension, the single player. Yeah. Uh, we essentially were shown the same section of gameplay that we saw in the Sony press conference last night, but we got uh, a lot more detail about what was actually yeah, going on. Yeah, there were some, they had the lead designer there actually, just yep. kind of walking us through and explaining things to us. Uh, it seems like they've made quite a few changes from the previous games. Yeah, the biggest thing is the fluidity and kind of the way you can change up things during combat now. It seems like they have given you a lot more options. Yeah. Uh, particularly, I noticed there is there is tethering now with your chains that actually allow you to hook onto somebody and hold them and kind of move around them yeah, and decide yeah. what you're going to do with them. It looks really cool. Yeah, there's a lot more uh, air juggling stuff now. Uh, and there is something going on with elements. Yeah. So we're used to seeing Krato, Kratos and his chains like on fire, yeah. but it turns out in this game that fire is only, you know, obviously one of the four elements. Yeah. And you will fight different enemies that have different elemental powers, and you will get different elemental powers as well. Yeah, we, we really only saw fire, so yeah. they didn't actually show off any of the other ones, but that was cool. One thing that I thought was awesome is this life cycle ability that Kratos totally. has now, where um, you guys might have seen it in the demo. It's like the area that's glowing green, um, he like, the, the he rebuilds like, he rebuilds like a platform that's made that's for raising ships. Yeah. Uh, and basically, what we found out about that is, number one, it's not something that you can do on everything in the world. It's at specific points, yeah. and it's more of a puzzle. So uh, he was telling us that in that particular section, you can either completely rebuild the elevator, mm -hmm. or you can partially rebuild it yeah, and use it as just, platforms. You, you can rewind and forward at yeah. will, basically. Exactly. And, and you'll have to like pause in the middle of rebuilding at some points to like move up and then continue rebuilding. Mm -hmm. so and going, some, yeah. Yeah, going back to combat, you can use life cycle in combat as well to kind of juggle enemies, hold them in stasis, yeah. things like that. I was actually... I was actually really impressed that the, they've made these subtle changes to the combat that seem to be doing a lot yeah, with it. Yeah. World Weapons was another one. Uh, we saw Kratos in the demo, obviously, during the press conference, picking up a sword that, and a javelin uh, that were part of the environment. And there are going to be different weapons that you can do that. And it changes yeah. up his attack style and speed. Yeah. Uh, and then finally, we saw a boss battle. And one thing that I loved is we didn't just see this like mash circle, mash circle thing, right? You were grabbed by a boss. And you were able to like use whatever kind of attacks you wanted to get out of it. Yeah. I'm still traumatized from that final boss <laughs> fight with the elephant man. So the elephant God, man, right? It's terrifying. Not, not like the movie or the historical no. figure, but the actual man who is half elephant in this demo. Uh, you grab him at one point and you know, he's trying to he's trying to grab at you as you're trying to choke him. And something that he showed off is you can actually move around when you've got enemies grabbed. And when they're trying to grab you, you can duck out of the way, yeah. which was really cool. And then, of course, he sliced open the elephant's head, and his brain came out because it's God of War. As you do. You yep. Know. He also pulled some goats or some horns off of goats. Yeah. That was also pretty traumatizing. Yeah, I they've got the say. Halo system now that he was talking about where it was, this is another yeah. combat evolution thing here where you can see different halos over people's heads, and depending on what they are, they're either finishing moves or you can do really intense combat yeah. moves, throw them around at one another. It's, it's definitely God of War. And yeah. if you like God of War, it's more God of War, but it's an evolution of that. It seems like a better God of War. Like, Definitely, yeah. for sure. So more details on that as we get them. And of course, we've got tons for you here this week at E3, so make sure you're subscribed.